What's up you guys, Steven with Magic Mode of Money. Hopefully you're not buying gems too often on Arena, but when you do, please stop making the mistake of buying the $20 option of 3,400 gems. In the Arena store, there are a few options to buying gems, but we're gonna focus just on two. There's the $100 option to buy 20,000 gems, or there's the $20 option to buy 3,400 gems. Now, if you do this $20 option five times, you've spent $100, but you only end up with 17,000 gems as opposed to 20,000. Now, this math is very simple and obvious, but there are some psychological effects here that make this seem much less painful than it really is. We're gonna dive into those effects and talk about how we can make better economic decisions when it comes to magic and other areas of life. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and join the Wolf Pack. The first and most obvious item to get out of the way is this most popular tag that they put on the $20 option. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it's a good idea. Crocs are very popular. That doesn't mean they look good. It certainly doesn't mean you should wear them on a first date. Just because something's popular doesn't mean you should go with it. And that is just a, a tag they put on there to make it seem like a better option when in reality, it clearly and mathematically is a worse buying option than the $100 option. The second and bigger item at play here that's not so obvious is this idea of a potential discount. If you look at something as a discount, you see it as a benefit that you may or may not be capturing. But instead, you should look at this as a potential premium that you have to pay. So instead of saying, hey, this $100 option is a discounted option, you look at it as the $20 option is a premium expensive option that you have. A 15% increase on the price that you pay and the value that you get. Now mathematically, these are identically the same, but psychologically, humans interpret these very differently. This is the idea of loss aversion. This is why if you've ever seen gas stations that have a credit card price and a cash price, they, they do not say it is a credit card premium. Instead, they say it is a cash discount. And believe me, credit card companies went through a lot of energy and effort to make sure that was the case because we read those as very different options. It just feels different. Right, loss aversion saying, oh, hey, here's an option of a discount. You may or may not get it, cool. Instead, this is a premium you have to pay? Ooh, yikes, no one likes that. No one wants to pay more than they have to when it's put and phrased in those words. This idea of loss aversion is explained that humans experience gains much less dramatically than they experience losses. This is why when you find 20 bucks in your pocket, you say, hey, cool, 20 bucks. But instead, if you lose 20 bucks, you wanna sink into a bottomless hole of depression. The pain of a loss is so much greater than the joy of an equal gain that companies really go out of their way to make sure we don't feel like we're losing and Instead, we just might be gaining something or we might not be gaining something and staying in a neutral state. Those are very, very different emotional experiences. Marketing departments for every big company know all of this, and that's why it's very important for us as consumers to educate ourselves so we can understand how to make the best decisions that'll impact our wallets in the best way possible. Believe it or not, this just in, most companies don't actually wanna benefit the customer only and customer first, they actually care about themselves. And that's fine, that's the world we live in. You can hate it or love it, it doesn't matter, that's not gonna change but you most certainly can do the best most to educate yourself and protect yourself in your wallet to make the best decisions possible. So the next time that you're thinking, ah, you know what, I'm just gonna buy 3,400 gems right now and I don't wanna spend the full hundred dollars. If you know that you're gonna spend that hundred dollars eventually, if you're buying 20 bucks a week or 20 bucks here, or 20 bucks there, and you're eventually gonna spend the hundred dollars anyway, save yourself the money and buy the full 20,000 gems all at once. And to do that, you just have to remind yourself, I'm not missing out on a discount. I am paying a 15% premium to spend this $20. Phrasing it that way does feel different and it'll motivate ourselves differently to behave better and save ourselves money in the long run. Now, if you only have $20 to your name, I'm not saying put the other $80 on your credit card and go into debt for this. I'm just saying have some patience and go earn the other $80 right now. I'm just saying, hey, you can earn $100 in an afternoon or in a day, right? It doesn't matter your skill set. You can go mow lawns, you can walk some neighbor's dogs, you could sell plasma, you could do Uber Eats. I don't care what you do. I'm just saying, as long as it's ethical and, and legal, of course. But it's not that crazy to earn a, an extra $80 and to make sure you can spend it all at once. Lastly, I do want to say that whether you decide to spend money on gems or not isn't really what matters about this video. What matters is that you continue to learn as a consumer and understand how to best protect yourself and your wallet to make sure you're getting the best value out of any purchase you make, whether that's on Arena, whether that's with paper cards, or whether that's your car, or your mortgage, or your rent, or whatever. It could be anything. Continue to invest in your mind, educate yourself to become financially independent, financially free. That's the dream and that's what I want for everybody in this world. Let's end with the metal lyrics of the day. When we speak, we create. When we love, we relate. See you next time.